sick again. I gotta find some ways to make sure she rests, but also keep them both entertained. Good morning, everybody. Well, not such a good morning for sweet Layla. This poor girl. Every time she gets sick, it goes to her lungs, she gets a horrible cough and mucus, and that's what happened today. This little girl is just always kind of a mess. Hey, Angie Pie. And to top it all off with, it's raining outside. A horrible, horrible storm right now in Southern California, and we can't go outside. So it's always kind of tricky when just one of your kids is sick because um, the younger one, who is feeling fine, has a lot of energy, she wants to go out, we could be going places like indoor little amusement parks and playgrounds, but we can't go anywhere because Big Girl is sick. Everybody is cooped up inside right now. I'm very cooped up right now, but I'm kind of getting better. You are, you're getting a little better. Fortunately, that's right, she's getting a little bit better. She's showing a little bit more energy. We just gotta figure out what we're gonna do today. She's gonna finish her breathing treatment. I think she wants to go take a nice warm bath, and while she's doing that, I'm gonna set up a little art project for both girls to do. Well, Angie, we can't go outside, baby girl. Yes, it's raining. It I know, you got your jacket. Honey, I'm sorry. I know, this is boring, huh? One of the things we use our charter funds for is a subscription to Little Passports. And I love it. One of our most recent ones was all about art and they talked about pointillism. I was like, gosh, that'd be kind of a fun little art project to do with Layla. So I have some Q-tips, some paint, and she picked out like an art design she wants. I'm gonna draw it with pencil and then I'm gonna give her a bunch of paint and Q-tips. And if you don't know what pointillism is, it is this type of doing, way of doing Doing art where you do little points of color instead of mixing all the colors together you do little dots and then when you pull the page away from you the picture away from you it kind of tricks your eye just to seeing all of them blended together into a picture but I gave Angie some markers and she's getting very upset with something I'm gonna go see what she's doing what's happening what what's stuck okay you don't want to do the markers you want to paint don't you of course you do of course you do. I had a feeling she would want to paint too, so I brought down some dot markers for her, because that's a little a bit puppy. Okay. okay, one second, girly. All right, well, she found her chocolate muffin, so she's happy with that now. So I'm gonna get back to working on Layla's. While she's upstairs taking a bath, I'm gonna draw like just the outline and pencil of the picture she wants to make. She saw this one, I showed her a few ideas, and she really liked this sunset one. So I'm gonna try to put on my artistic cap and make this for her. She's doing it. Yeah, so look, I drew it, and what you're gonna do is like, you can start with the grass, and you do different shades, like dark green, light green, can it even I has some yellow in there. Mommy, can I just color it any way I want? Sure. Look, Layla, Angie's doing pointillism too. Good job, Angie, little dots. I don't think she has an, a, a design idea behind it all, but she's got the point, uh-oh. Ooh, I like your dots so far, yes. looking good. I'm not doing it like this picture, but I wanted to. I love that. You're gonna make it your own. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that, Layla, good job. And then look, here's Angie's. Uh, I don't really like <gasps> Wheel. I think it's pretty good for a 19 month old. I love Layla, it. Layla, do you remember what art that's called? Pointillism. Can you say that, pointillism? Good job, girl. Let's go let that dry, because that's super wet. Well, Layla was so inspired, she now is making a Valentine's Day one. All right, so what colors are you gonna need for this? Red, blue, orange. Red, blue, yellow, orange, got it. So we already have, well, yellow and blue here. And now I feel like I'm ignoring Angie, and she's just with her bottle watching TV, so 
Oh, the mom guilt is real, so I need to find something to get Angie doing something before her nap. And there was this activity I did with Layla when she was a baby. Angie might be a little bit too young for it, but I'm gonna try it. I took one of the puzzles she likes, and I took the pieces and wrapped them in foil, and it just like adds another step to the puzzle, so she has to unwrap the pieces and then find where they go. So hopefully that'll keep her entertained and away from the TV, because unfortunately I'm starting to use that as a babysitter right now while I'm focused on one kid. Well, I look over and Angie was gone. This is her new place she likes to hide. Hi, you gonna hide back there for a little bit? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wait. This is looking so good, okay. see? That is some good pointillism. Good job, baby girl. Done? Okay, tell us about it. About it's your beautiful a, art. It's a heart under an umbrella at the beach. I love it. The heart's in the water. Layla, you have gotten really good at pointillism. That was a, such a good project. I had so much fun doing it. I think she had fun too. I, I was surprised she even wanted to go and make her own then too afterwards. So we'll see if she wants to keep doing that. I do have another art project up my sleeve for later today. Right now I'm kind of doing some dinner prep stuff and Layla's been kind of into kitchen things too so that might be something fun she could do is help me with that oh hang on I hear the foil moving around I think Angie just found the puzzle pieces what's in here can you open can you oh, oh don't you start sneezing oh what what's in there come here Layla I used to do this with you when you were little I wrap the puzzle pieces in foil can you open that one so some of them I don't open as tightly because it just kind of depends on the kid's age. I'll kind of open this one a little bit. <gasps> you found it, good job! She hasn't found a heart yet. No, she's only found two. You didn't quite get that one. Oh, that's the heart. You found the heart. There's the heart. Good job. Such a smart, yay! Guys, I think I'm two for two this morning. This is great. She's liking this. It's keeping her, it's making her take a little bit longer. All right, I think Layla's done with painting. So our house is kind of a disaster right now. I feel like, yes? Yeah, okay, let's go see what Layla needs. Yes? I can't wash the paint off. Oh, you just gotta do the best you can. She's trying to get the paint off. Sometimes it takes a little bit. I was saying though, sometimes I feel like, did you get it? When the kids get sick and it's a rainy day, the house just kind of goes to pits. I feel better when the house is picked up, so I wanna make sure I get all of this picked up right now so it's just not such a disaster because right now we have stuff everywhere. It's like we have our breathing treatment, we have paints. It's just too much. So I need, for my own sanity, I need to clean up right now. Layla insisted on helping me cut the onion for our stuffed peppers tonight. Didn't think it would last long, but she tried, so that was very nice. And let's see what's going on, just to let you know what's going on right now. I wrapped another puzzle for Angie, so she's down doing that. Layla's taking a quick little TV break with a sucker. I'm going to finish cutting up this onion and see if I can get a little bit more of dinner prepped. Most likely, I'll be doing most of it while Angie's napping, though. Realized I cut that onion using Layla's kid knife and it actually worked pretty well. These are pretty good. I don't remember how it happened, but somehow the Wednesday dance song came on one day and Angie is obsessed with it and constantly wants to dance to that song. And sometimes she doesn't want to anybody to upstage her, and including Layla. Still just doing a little bit of dinner prep and I'm going to let the turkey meat just kind of sit on the stove right now. And Angie's gonna be going down for her nap in the next 30 minutes. So I don't think I wanna start actually start the art project till she goes down, but I might task them with a few things while they're just sitting there um, kind of winding down. So the next um, art activity we're doing involves melting crayons. So I, if you guys are like us, we have tons of crayons that are broken, like little nubs that you can hardly use anymore. We're gonna utilize all of those and make a really cool art project with it. Layla is super excited to get started. So I'm gonna have her do something and then we'll do the rest when Angie naps. But first thing you gotta do is grate um, all of the pencils and you can, or crayons and you can keep them like in their same colors. 
So what are you doing, purple? You can use a pencil sharpener or a cheese grater. I think a cheese grater would probably be faster, but your kids might be more comfortable. You wanna try that? And do it over this so you collect it all. We got our crayon shavings. I actually ended up thinking the uh, pencil sharpener was easier than the cheese grater, but maybe that's just me. And then since it could get a little messy with all the pencil shavings, I put her piece of paper on a little sheet pan. And now Layla, you're gonna make any design you want and just kind of place them on there. You get, well, not the big, she put the big chunk on. Use those little shavings. And yeah, use those. And you can make any time you want. If you want decide you want more colors, let me know. Okay. But do anything you want on there. Here's Layla's design. She did a little heart for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna put some wax paper on it. Now I'm gonna take an iron and just press the iron onto this to make it melt. Don't rub the iron because then you'll mess up the pattern or any design your kid made. Just press it down and wait until it starts to melt. Okay, this is my first time doing it and I set it there for like two seconds and it really melted fast. So I think you just need to like dab it. Let's take a look. Oh, Layla, remember how we also learned about Jackson Pollock, the guy that just kind of splattered paint everywhere? This kind of looks like a Jackson Pollock. Now what? We take this off. Oh, our heart got it. Okay, so Layla, I think I see something. Okay, so I think it's better when you don't put a whole bunch together and you have it more spread out like that. And then when you don't hold the iron down as long. So that was kind of like a learning curve. But that looks really cool. It is totally like a Jackson Pollock. But I kind of want to try it again, see what happens. It worked out a little better when you just dab the iron, but then I took it off and I saw some of the crayon was coming off. So I got a little overly ambitious and went back and ironed it some more and it ended up taking part of the heart off. But we're getting the hang of it and it's kind of a fun little activity. And that little passports that we got that kind of inspired all of this artwork, they also talked about Jackson Pollock. So this is kind of fun because it, I was showing Layla some Jackson Pollock artwork and this kind of looks like it, how we just splattered paint everywhere. So. Um, this is really, really a fun day, even though she's not feeling too well. Uh, it's been nice that we're able to still learn and do some things, and we do, do still need to do some schoolwork. Because even though she's not doing well, she's well enough that we can, I don't want to get too behind on our schoolwork. Time to get started on our schoolwork. Don't have much today. One of the perks of homeschooling or doing like a hybrid homeschool is if we do have to miss a day, then I can just do the schoolwork with her at home so we don't fall behind. Angie is still sleeping. It's been over two and a half hours. I really want to wake her up because I don't want to mess up nighttime, but I'm afraid to say this. I think she's getting sick. She probably needs her sleep. So I'm going to let her sleep till two and then I might kind of rouse her up a little bit, but I think she's getting sick. We think I'm better, but Yeah, you're getting a little better, and now Angie's sick. So Layla is so funny. She loves music so much, you guys. And she has been watching School of Rock. Um, the School of Rock. And I don't know if you guys remember that movie. And she is like obsessed with it now, and so she wants to make a shirt that says School of Rock on it. So she, this little girl, she's keeping herself busy today. We've been very creative and artistic, and I'm loving this. I love how creative we're being today. And we got our academics in, so we're doing left and right brain today. This is fantastic. A day that I thought was gonna be kind of rough with the rain and the sickness has actually turned out to be super fun, so I'm yeah. loving it. Layla, this is looking fantastic. I'm not done yet. Do you wanna bring it over to Grandma's house and finish the rest of it there? I'm not so done. I am getting ready to go. I always tutor it kind of in the afternoon, so <laughs> I, Kind of made it over to the afternoon and now we're going to move over to grandma's house so she can watch the girlies while I go off and tutor. I think to say, it's safe to say Layla will be able to go to school tomorrow. Yeah, I think she needed one last day of rest and we had a really good time. I had a really fun day today with the girlies and let me know if you guys try these art projects. I really recommend them. I think they were fun, especially the pointillism one. That one was kind of the surprise winner today. That was my favorite. That was your favorite? And I think Angie liked the puzzles too. All right, we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye.